Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Astro Ventures, welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own in a simple Star Trekker like the Skygatter Pro or the Star Adventure. Today I wanted to show you a quick color cast removal being done in Photoshop. And this can be done multiple times as you edit your image and a cast might develop. And so let's go ahead and get started on this. And first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this text so that we're back to our image. Here we go. You'll see that there is a green cast over the horse head and flame nebula. This is not unusual. Uh, it may not be a green cast depending on the light pollution that you have, but this is not uncommon. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is press Control and J. I apologize, I'm not a Mac person, so I can't tell you that shortcut. I'm a PC person. So that just duplicated the background and is now called Layer 1. I'm going to make sure that Layer 1 is selected, which it already is. I am now going to press I for the eyedropper. I'm going to come up to Sample Size. And I'm going to select a 31 by 31. Uh, you can do 51 by 51, but generally I've uh, found 31 by 31 to work well. And 51 by 51, I'm, I'm just being a, a little careful. 31 is big enough to get the sample I need. And I don't need to go any bigger, so I don't go up to 51. You could if you want, but I choose to stay at 31. Here we go. Now, I'm going to move into an area where I'm not over any of this nebula area. I'm looking for a good solid black area with nothing going on to get that color cast sample. I'm now going to press Alt. I'm going to click one time. It will then take the sample. Layer 1 is still selected and I want you to press Alt and Backspace. You'll notice that this went to a solid color now. This is that sampled color from the eyedropper that we want to remove from our image. I'm now going to move down here to background. I will move up to image, down to apply image. And when this window opens, the source will be the original file that was opened. Layer, I'm going to be on layer one. That's where I have that color cast sampled that I want to remove. Blending, I'm going to move down here to subtract. Normally when you got started it would probably look like this normal and you wouldn't have the other information. But we're going to subtract because we want to take layer one color cast away from the original source image. And on offset I want to set this to 25. Um, next, oh actually before I move on to the next, Take a look over here on the background, you'll see a quick little flash as it updates. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to click OK. It now removes, and I will click on this I from layer 1, and you'll notice that green cast is removed. Now I can move forward with editing this image, removing the stars, all of the good stuff that I want to do with it. But I've gotten rid of this color cast. And again, through the imaging process, if a color cast starts to develop, you can do this again. Until next time, I wish you clear skies, uneventful nights, and I would love to see you over at our Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR. And if you like the uh, video, consider ringing the bell, liking, and subscribing. Till next time.